Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest morning Koninia today. Um, rest Africa is first and then the rest. Glory to God. So I think today we are studying Romans chapter 7. We're Romans chapter 7 this morning. Quickly, let's go through this. We're going to take our declarations now. And go to Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter number 7. Glory to God in the highest. Father, I just want to thank you. Tito has just been putting me in trouble in the internet. They say that people beat me in this Lagos. It's Tito's, it's Tito's people. Um, Romans chapter 7. Glory to God. Romans chapter 7, quickly, quickly. What did I type earlier? I don't know. I didn't read. Romans 7, 1 to 25. That's it. Quickly, 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 quickly get your friends joining. Get your friends to join in. Romans chapter 7 is 1 to 25 is where we're reading today. Tito has started waking up on time. Praise God. Tito used to rewatch. Cannot wake up on time. Quickly, quickly, Romans chapter 7. Let me make the declaration. Let's do this. The count of three. One, two, three. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiving. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And then you can scream grace is working for me glory to god in the highest romans chapter number seven father bless your word in jesus name give us understanding as you see your word in jesus matthew's name we have prayed amen amen and amen glory to god you ready you ready I would have thought this 7 o'clock or 7.30 will increase the number significantly. It has increased, but I don't know that it's as significant as, as I thought it should be. But guess what? I'm loving it. If you can get just about 20 more people to join, it's worth it. Let's do this. Romans 7 from verse 1. Here begins the reading of God's word. Father, open up our eyes to see Jesus as we read and enjoy the finished work and be blessed by the gospel of your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Or do you not know, brethren, for I speak to those who know the law, that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives. For the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives but if the husband dies she is released from the law of her husband so then if we were so then if while her husband lives she remarries another man she will be called an adulteress but if her husband dies she is free from the law so that she know she is no adulteress though she has married another man i'm going to give this illustration i just want to go through it therefore my brethren you also have become dead to the law through the body of christ that you may be married to another to him who has raised who was raised from the dead that we should bear fruit to God. So let me explain what he, what he's saying. 
So, oh my God, there's another remote here. I want to, I want to give you, the, yeah, fantastic. So, for the purpose of illustration, the purpose of illustration, now, this is the law. The law is upright. Stay with me. The law is upright. The law is good. The law does not die. It shows you your flaws. Doesn't cannot help you. It just shows you what you've done wrong. Yeah? Now, this is the church. You and I. Joined to the law, for instance. And the Bible is saying, so long as both of you are married like this, nothing they happen. You're under the law, subjected to the law. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Only death can separate you and the law. For the wages of sin is death. Only death can separate you and the law. Are you listening to me? So here's what Jesus did. So, so can you close the door? Can you close the door? Cl close the door. Close the door. Close the door. So, so don't just... Only death can separate you and the law. Sit, sit, sit. So, so if you want to see, sit, sit and learn. Only death can separate, separate you and the law. Your ex is not dead, Amulika. Because the law does not die. Watch this. Jesus comes and wants to win this babe, this lady in red. Jesus comes and wants to win this lady in red. Guess what Jesus did? Jesus comes and dies for this lady. To take her out of the law. So when Jesus dies for this lady, to take her out of the law, the law is there, upright. But Christ now is the end of that relationship with the law. Now when Jesus died for her, Jesus raised that back to life. So what you have right now is Jesus and the church. Stop going back to your ex. The ex is the law. But the ex is not dead. You are dead to the law. Do you understand what I'm saying? The ex is not dead though. But you are dead to the law. So, I, so are you saying the law is not good? The law is upright. The other people that preach Old Testament, the law is this. Um, thank you very much. But the truth is that I am now dead to the law. She cannot. That's what happened. So yes, both of them were married, and the only thing that would that would disconnect them is death. You not think the law is dead? No, the law is alive. But he called you to glory. <laughs> so he came, died your death, and brought you back to life. And what God required from you, he became for you. That's it. So you are dead to the law. You're dead to the law. He died as me, so I'm dead to the law. You get what I'm saying? So verse 5. For when we were in the flesh, the sinful passion which were aroused by the law, we had to walk in our members to bear fruit to death. But now we have been delivered from the law, having died to what we were held by. Having, are you saying the scripture? Having died to what we were held by, so that we should serve in the newness of the spirit, not of not in the oldness of the letter. Glory to God. Verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. God forbid. You see what I'm saying? On the contrary, I would have known, I would not have known sin except through the law, for I would not have known covetousness unless the law said, You shall not convert. So it is the law that brings about the awareness of sin. But sin, taking opportunity by the commandment, produced in me all manner of evil desire. All manner of evil desire. For apart from the law, sin was dead. So it's the law that brings sin alive. Sin was dead. I was alive once without the law, 
But when the commandment came, sin revived, and then I died. And the commandment which was to bring life, I found to bring death. For sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it killed me. Therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. But the law cannot save you. Verse 13. How then what is good become death to me? Certainly not, but sin, that it might appear sin, was producing death in me through what is good, so that sin, through the commandment, might become exceedingly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, and I am carnal, sold under sin. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is my flesh, Nothing good dwells there. King James says, lies no good thing. Nothing good d dwells there. For to will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not know. I do not find. For the good that I will to do, I do not. But the evil I will not to do, that I practice. That is the confusion. Of trying to meet the law by your flesh. You will now know that the things you want to do, it's not by like that. You will know. That's when you're trying to meet, fulfill law by your flesh. You cannot. Just leave it. Jesus fulfilled it for us. Verse 21, right? No, 20. Now, if I do what I will not do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. 21. I find then a law that evil is present with me. The one who wills to do good. The Lord tells you what you are doing wrong without helping you to get out of it. The law will tell you what you are, you, you cannot do it. It's like telling Susu to write I can. You know you cannot do it. Yeah? For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who would deliver me from this body of death? But it didn't stop there. I thank God through Jesus our Lord. So then with the mind serve the law of God but with the flesh the law of sin how did he get out of this whole confusion with the law you find out tomorrow morning there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus so your revelation that you are not condemned brings you out of the thread meal of activities called law and brings you into the embrace of the spirit glory to God Liberty, which is in Christ Jesus. Pray as you go quickly. I'm liking this 7:30, so by 8 o'clock, you guys can you can actually jump on your day. 44. Declaration 44, page 120. Priscilla, oh, you can you send me a DM? There's somebody on the island who wants to join the Gist Gist Island. Um, um Please. The law of God. The law of God shows bring. Somebody said, throw. Please, can you throw light on the law of God? This is the law of sin. The law of God is 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 going to bring out that. The the. How do I answer the question? Once law shows up, sin comes alive. It's law that gives birth to sin. Yeah. 
People slow down. Time day. <laughs> Page 44. I finished my chapter. Page 44. Sorry, declaration 44. Page 120. The, how do I join the lounge? Please drop your... Where are you, where, you, where are you talking from, by the way? You're in the UK. There's the UK lounge. Are you in the US? There's a UK, US lounge. If you're in Lagos, there's a Lagos lounge. Just send me a DM of your number and where you what london us or lagos and we'll add, we'll add lucky lagos and you should be in lagos lounge send me your number dm me your number we shall add you like this amen amen declaration 44 page 120 i'm the righteous and favored one Hey, I did Canada lounge. Canada, we need to we need to start the Canada lounge because Canada is in my is in my radar. I need to choose the city. I need to choose the city. Canada is in my radar. A lot of us are there too. One twenty page one twenty. Yeah, I think you should just head to Canada branch. That maybe you're a pastor of a Canada church. Take it, run with it. Page 120, Declaration 44, Ontario. Okay. Page 120, Declare Toronto, Ontario, Toronto. Calgary. You put stay one place. Where, where, where stay? They have come, Ontario people. Where are you? Where should we focus in? Calgary. Mm. New Brown, new, new Brown was quick, quick. So, see, listen to me. Don't stress me. We'll set up a WhatsApp group for Canadian people. And then all of you will choose where you will want to start this. We'll find out where we have more traction and the city God is calling us to. Amen. Declaration 144, page 120. For thou, o Lord, will bless. Thou, o Lord, has blessed the righteous, and with favor you compass him as with a shield. As with a shield. Thou, o Lord, has blessed the righteous, and with favor you compass him as with a shield. You have the favor of God and you're compassed. You are encompassed with the shield of God's favor. The believer is the righteousness of God in Christ did in Christ Jesus. Therefore, he has favor like a shield. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you enjoy favor of God like a shield. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you have the mighty favor of God like a shield all around you. I proclaim that God is good and his mercy is endures forever. I decree that you rejoice because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I decree and declare that you are a recipient of the mercies of God already and his mercy towards you are eternal, permanent and irrevocable. I decree that you would experience mercy and his mercy are eternal, irrevocable and permanent in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that God's favor is on you in the name of Jesus. He surrounds you uh, and his light shines through you because he lives inside of you. Somebody, I heard God say to tell you, you're going to experience favor on another level. Um, this person, you already have favor, so you always know that you have the favor of God. And God is saying, Shh. you're about to see favor on another level i'm telling you in the name you're about to experience favor on another level favor on another level there is it is the charming compelling remarkable favor of god i prophesy in the name of jesus i don't know whose word this is but god wants me to tell you about to experience favor on another level i know you've seen favor before but you're about to see favor that will that will shock you that will shock you. Favor on another level. In the name of Jesus. I prophesied over your life. In the name of Jesus. Over your children. Over your house. 
over the over the over the delay of approvement that you're looking for you will see favor on another level favor doors are about to start opening to you why because the lord has blessed the righteous and with favor he compasses them as with a shield that when they come to attack you they come for you they would experience god's favor on another level i pray the favor of god i pray the favor of god in the name of jesus it will amaze you and everywhere you go, it will amaze you in the name. You're about to see favor on another level. Favor is about to attract things around you. And favor encompasses you like a shield. Yes, the way God says God. But the gathering is not of me. So to the intent that when they come together, they will see the favor of God. I release right now the mighty favor of God upon your life. I release right now the mighty favor of God upon your life. And I decree that you have favor like a shield. You have favor like a shield. You have favor like a shield in the name of Jesus. I release the mighty favor of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. God's favor is on you. His favor surrounds you and his light shines through you because he lives in you. I declare, I declare that you are favored of God. People are compelled to help you because the favor and the light of God attracts helpers to you. In the, I prophesy that from today, when you ask for one helper, 10 will show up. You're asking for one helper, 10 will show up because of the favor of God. You ask for one, 10 will show up in the name of Jesus. You have help all around. It will amaze you. You will just see help all around. It will amaze you the compelling favor of God. Like a shield. In the name of the comparing favor of God. Like a shield. In the name of Jesus. I command the manifestation of God's favor in every area of your life. I declare that when your name is mentioned. Places that you are not even aware of. God's favor speak for you. I declare that your name when is mentioned in places that you're not even aware of, God's favor will begin to speak for you. It will begin to speak for you. It will begin to speak for you. In places that you're not even aware of, God's favor will begin to speak for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God's favor will begin to speak for you. I declare that God's favor has gone ahead of you to open doors open gates and create pathways for you. God's favor has gone ahead of you to open doors, open gates and create pathway for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree God's favor has gone ahead of you to open doors, open ways and create pathways for you. You will experience God's favor. I say you will experience God's favor. In the name of Jesus, God's favor has gone ahead of you to open doors, open ways and create pathways for you. You would see remarkably the favor of God. You will see the favor of God. You see the favor of God. It will amaze you in the name of Jesus. I decree favor has gone ahead of you to approve things that have been delayed and shift the mountains out of the way. God's compelling favor like a perfume is upon your life. In the name of Jesus, God's compelling favor like a perfume is upon your life. You will see remarkable, the remarkable favor of God in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that when your name is mentioned in places that you have not even been to, you will see the favor of God in the name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord concerning you. Enjoy great favor and favor like a shield. So favor is protecting you from today. Favor is protecting you from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Glory to God. So tomorrow morning we're here for 7.30 in the morning. Tell people it's, it's, it's earlier now so that you can start your day. Can you imagine just 8 o'clock, we're done. You can go ahead, start your day. You've prayed, you've read the word of God and you're charged. We're thinking of tweaking morning koinonia, and I'll tell you the, what I have in my mind. A little worship before we start. So it's a full experience. Worship service and in the morning. I'm working on that. Keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. I decree you enjoy favor this day. You see favor remarkably. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Which one is Novas? Novas Kosa. We have these places. May the favor of God go there for us in Jesus' name. It's going to, we're working on it. You're going to see favor. All right. Have a fruitful, flourishing, favored season in your life in Jesus' name. I hear to tell somebody your favored season is back. I used to have favor, but I don't know what happened. No. But God is saying that season of favor. Oh, I feel like preaching. I feel like prophesying. Welcome to your season of favor. Welcome to your season of favor. Welcome to a great season of favor. Is the season, the favored season is here. You are the favored of the Lord and favor like a shield. Favor would keep you in this season and bring you into a different atmosphere by the Spirit of God. Favor will move you into a different atmosphere by the Spirit of God. It is your favored season and you will see the favor of God in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Favor will make you exceptional. They didn't want to give to anybody but you. When you showed up, they do. Usha, Vegalavis. I hear the word of God say, say to somebody, with you, don't make an exception with your case. With you, don't make an exception with your case because you have the favor of God. With you, they're going to make an exception with your case. You know why? You have the favor of God. You have the favor of God. You have the mighty favor of God. So because you have the favor of God, they're going to make an exception with your case. No, nothing. You have the mighty favor of God. You have the mighty favor of God. Because of you, they're going to make an exception with your case. Favor makes you exceptional in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you're going to this week. I don't know what you're up to this week. I don't know how they've told you it's not possible. But hear you, the word of the Lord. Favor is going to make you exceptional. You're going to be exceptional in the name of Jesus. In that business, in that thing you do, you are going to be exceptional. In the name of Jesus. They're going to tell you, no, we don't give this to everybody, but for your case, we, we, are, we feel led and we are compelled to do something different. So when it is you, they're going to do something different. In the name of Jesus. I bless you with things money can buy. I bless you with things money cannot buy, like favor, grace, with intelligence, divine wisdom, sound mind, ability to articulate. And I bless you with money itself. In Jesus' matchless name. Amen. I love you. Have a flourishing day ahead of you with great grace. Blessings.